Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I also hope you're having a great day too. But because it is Christmas and also because I've had COVID this week, today's video is going to be slightly less serious and slightly more fun. As it is the 25th today, I will be going through 25 animal facts. And if you wish, you can bore your family with them. And without further ado, we'll get started with number one. If baby elephants weren't cute enough, it turns out that they suck their trunks for comfort. It's thought the baby elephants suck their trunks in the same way that humans suck their thumbs, as most young baby mammals are born with a strong sucking instinct. Young baby elephants are not in full control of their trunks either, so this might also be the best way to keep their trunks under control. Duck-billed platypuses are some of the strangest mammals on this planet, and one of the strangest things about them is that they have no nipples. They do feed their young milk, but their milk oozes out of their mammary glands and collects in grooves in their skin. The young will then lap up this milk from their skin, or suck it from tufts of fur. Even though the common swift may not look that magnificent at first, it is one of the most interesting birds in the world, and they spend almost all their lives in flight. They can sleep, drink, and mate while flying, and they only ever really land to nest. Not a single mammal species thus far has definitively shown to be truly monogamous. Scientists now estimate that only around 3-5% of approximately 4,000 mammal species on Earth practice any form of monogamy. This may make us humans look like the odd ones out, but in the bird world, monogamy is quite common. Alaska's climate is very harsh and unforgiving, and this is especially the case at this time of year. You would think that this would be a very bad place to be an amphibian, but wood frogs have come up with a very interesting way to survive Alaska's cold climate. They almost completely freeze solid, with two-thirds of their body water turning to ice. Surprisingly, they can do this for seven months, and they almost appear to come back to life when the warm weather returns. The elephant shrew is a very misunderstood creature, and it is also one that has been criminally misnamed. Strangely, it is not a shrew, and it is not even a rodent. It is more closely related to a group of African mammals that includes elephants, sea cows, and aardvarks. And this means that the elephant shrew is more closely related to elephants than it is to shrews. Reindeer are very mysterious and beautiful creatures, and as well as having the ability to fly, they can also change their eye colour. In the summer, they have more of a golden tint, and in the winter, this changes to a blue tint. This change in colour helps reindeer's eyes capture more light in the dark winter months, and this of course helps them to navigate and to avoid predators. Japanese macaques are famous around the world for their love of hot springs, but they also have a love for snowballs too. They have been observed rolling snowballs down hills, and they will even throw them at each other and carry them around in their mouths. If you were to ask some people what the deadliest animal on this planet is, I'm sure some people would name a species of shark or snake. But of course, the deadliest animal on this planet is the mosquito. It's estimated that they are responsible for 750,000 to 1 million human deaths per year. And even though they're not as scary as a tiger, they are responsible for far more deaths. Sharks have a very bad reputation due to films like Jaws, but really there are far more things that you do in your day-to-day -day life that are more dangerous than sharks. Sharks kill on average around 10 people per year, and vending machines are responsible for more human deaths at around 13 deaths per year on average. Deer kill around 130 people per year, and falling coconuts cause around 150 human deaths per year. In places such as Peru, India, and Sri Lanka, a strange relationship is formed between giant spiders and tiny frogs. It almost looks like the spiders are keeping these frogs as pets, but their relationship is a little more complicated. It's believed that the spiders don't kill them because they are toxic, and the frogs feed on the invertebrates that are attracted to the spiders' dens. The small frogs would also receive protection, because the spiders feed on a lot of their natural predators. Our next fact is more of a misconception, because I've seen this fact written many times before incorrectly. The fact normally states that there are no male morning geckos, and although this isn't completely true, it's almost true. Morning geckos are parthenogenic, and this means that males are not necessary for reproduction. Almost all morning geckos are female, but there are some males that exist, but they are very rare and often sterile. As of 2018, American Airlines banned the use of insects as emotional support animals, and the same rules went for goats and hedgehogs, yet you can still bring on your own miniature horse.
Even though the blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived on this planet, we still know very little about it, and we still don't know where and how they actually reproduce. One thing we do know is that they do hybridize with fin whales, and sometimes these hybrids are fertile. These blue whale fin whale hybrids are one of the largest creatures on this planet, and are definitely the largest hybrids in the world. Black howler monkeys are considered the loudest land animals in the world, with their calls being heard up to 3 miles away and reaching an astonishing 140 decibels. <coughs> the white bellbird is native to the Amazon rainforest, and although it's not as loud as the black howler monkey, it is still quite impressive, as its strange call can be as loud as 125 decibels. The Fusa is one of the strangest and most unique predators on this planet, and often looks like quite a few different creatures combined. They communicate a lot with scents, and if you were to frighten or irritate a Fusa, they release a very potent stinky smell, and this is often enough to make you leave them alone. Pufferfish are famously one of the most toxic animals on this planet, and in most cases it is a bad idea to try and eat one, as well as containing toxins in their skin. They also release toxins when they're stressed. Dolphins and pinnipeds take advantage of these toxins, and often play with them to get high. This toxin seems to induce a trance-like state, yet I don't think the pufferfish enjoy it quite as much. Lots of animals hibernate to get through the colder months, but the European edible dormouse takes it to the next level. In non-reproductive years and in years with low food availability, the edible dormouse can hibernate for up to 11 months. As well as being a very creepy species of shark, the Greenland shark is also thought to be the longest living vertebrate. It was estimated that one female specimen was around 400 years old, and this would have meant that this female would have been alive way before the American Declaration of Independence. One of the oldest verified creatures in the world was a radiated tortoise. This tortoise lives in Madagascar, and the oldest radiated tortoise ever recorded was the grand old age of 188 years old. Famously, skunks can spray you with a very foul-smelling odour, and this odour is surprisingly potent. In fact, it can be detected by a human nose up to 3.5 miles downwind. In the Philippine island of Luzon, you will find a very strange bird. This bird is known as the Luzon Bleeding Heart, and constantly looks like it's just been shot, or it's spilt ketchup down its shirt. In fact, this is just the coloration of its feathers, and has the illusion of running blood. Famously, the electric eel is not an eel at all, and is actually a species of knifefish. The electric eel insulates its critical tissues with a layer of fat, but if this layer of fat is damaged, or if it's been attacked, the electric eel is actually able to electrocute itself. Mountain gorillas in Rwanda have learnt to fight back against poachers. After one of them was caught in a snare, they have now learnt to take down snares, and will destroy them on sight to help out other gorillas. As I said at the start of the video, I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll try and get a video out before the end of the year. But as always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.